Rule number 12, narrative. There are really two parts to this rule. Number one, questions made by an attorney that call for a narrative, and two, answers given by a witness that laps into a narrative. Example number one, where the question calls for a narrative. So if the attorney has laid foundation and then asks, what happened? This kind of broad, open-ended question doesn't allow the courtroom process to do a check on the question for reliability. There are two ways this kind of broad question avoids the process. First, there is no opportunity for opposing counsel to object. The second way that this kind of question avoids the process of testing it for reliability is that it does not give opposing counsel the opportunity to ask specific questions on cross-examination. To make an objection, opposing counsel would have to make the objection before the answer starts. The objection would sound like this. Objection, Your Honor. Question calls for a narrative. The second way to use the narrative objection is when the witness starts going on and on, not answering the question being asked, but speaking at length about unrelated things. This kind of meandering answer might also avoid the court's process of testing the reliability of one answer at a time. By answering a question in a meandering fashion, the witness might go into areas that are one, irrelevant, and two, impermissible. When the witness discusses topics that are impermissible, that might jeopardize the entire trial and risk a mistrial out in the real world. Mistrials waste people's time and resources, so the courts try to avoid that. When the witness's answer starts to go outside of the scope of the answer called for by the question, the attorney on the cross-examination side can object. The objection sounds like this. Objection, Your Honor. The witness is lapsing into a narrative. Or, objection. Narrative.